Hey everybody, thanks for tuning into my channel. Welcome back. Uh, today I have a little haul for you. Well, I guess it's more than a little haul. It has a couple different categories in it. They kind of all relate to each other. Uh, some of the stuff that I really enjoy. Uh, I have a very small section of a little assortment of some craft items, uh, some like party stuff and candles and then like decorative stuff like picture frames and stuff like that. So I'm going to dive right in and kind of quickly go through this stuff because it will be, you know, a bit of things to get out of the way. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. All right. So they've been having some really neat uh, wreath forms lately. I mean, anything from witches hats to snowmen. As you can see, this is a star. Can't wait to do something for that over the summer. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. And then here's a football. So of course you can make a football out of it. But I was actually thinking about maybe even doing like some sort of like a centerpiece with it. Maybe making like a like for like Easter, like an egg or something. I haven't quite sure or haven't quite decided yet with those, but I guess time will tell. Uh, you know, Dollar Tree, it's one of those things is when you see it, you want to get it because it probably won't be there the next time you go. And then keeping along with that, like, wreath stuff, I have my little basket here. So this is some wire jute cord. So it's like, holds its shape and stuff when you bend it. Really cool for doing all kinds of flower arrangements and wreaths and even just different crafts wrapping around things. And then of course their deco mesh they always have this is a brown and it has like some gold going through it so it's really nice for fall or you could make like a football like the football wreath form would be great with this and then this is the the mesh tube and they always have it out in different seasons for different cup you know in different colors for the different holidays um, this would be really cool for like a turkey or something, a turkey wreath or something. I don't know. I just like to get the different colors so then I have it on hand if I want to make like bows or something like that. And then here's some of the, the raffia in two different like folly type colors. The green and then this is kind of like a, I guess like, an, like a burnt orange almost. And they always have colors of that too for the different holidays. And then here's the some foam. It's a floral foam. Um, just had a total mind blank. Uh, like a triangle pillar type shape. Not quite sure what they call it. But these are always good to have on hand. You can make trees out of them. Witches hats. Like pretty much so many different things. Um, I've seen people use them for like gnomes, Santa hats, like all different things. So I like to have some of those on hand just in case. They're always good for like the kids too. They can stick things in. I can make really pretty Christmas trees out of ribbon. Uh, maybe I'll do a DIY tutorial on that coming up soon uh, with the holidays coming up and people getting ready for Christmas. And then these are adhesive pearl wraps. Is that what it says? Yeah. So this is just like, I think it's sticky. Oh, this one's open. I accidentally tore the tag off. So this is what they look like. It's just a sheet. Sorry, I got kind of crinkled up in my packaging. Um, and it's all one thing, like they're all connected, but you can, it's like a sticker. So you can peel this backing off and stick it onto whatever you'd like. You can cut it this way, this way, whatever you want, cut it up, take this, this backing off and then stick it onto something. These are great to decorate candles or like, um, plain vases. Here, we'll go right into that. How about that? Something like this, you could put like a... A ring of it around the top and then have like a nice like it, you could use it as a planter as a candle holder um all i mean really anything it can just be something like a tchotchke like a little catch-all for change or something same thing with this one here they always have different all different shapes and sizes of different uh, glass containers jars and vases which is great especially for a lot of diys and all that stuff So another thing that was kind of in the floral section, which a lot of people see, they have so many different animals, and I think lately they've been having like the trucks with the trailers and stuff. Um, this here, I thought was adorable. Her name is Candace, and she is beautiful. I don't know what else to say. 
Um, there are different ones in this set. It says collect us all. There's Pepper, Pauline, Stanley, and Candace. And they are like literally just so precious. I, I just, this one, I just really fell in love with them. I really like this one too. I didn't see this one yet. I might pick this up if I see it. Um, but, and then I guess, what is this, like a little squirrel or something over here, a chipmunk? I'm not quite sure. That's the thing. They don't really tell you, and if it's not too clear, yeah, I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, but it's cute nonetheless. Great little, for a little plant or little chashki holder, like, like I said, change holder or something like that. Little decorative piece up on your shelf. Adorable. Speaking of shelf, these are floating shelves. They are 8.6 by 4 inches. You can see it has like kind of like that crown molding look. And they have the hooks here and it even comes with the screws and the anchors. These are great. I'm going to hang a couple. Um, actually, sorry. I'm looking at it. You're not looking at it. But next to my, I think next to my TV on the other side to put some stuff that I've made or some decorative items that I found that I really like. And then trying to see what I should do next. All right, we can do this one here. So this is a wall pocket hanger. So it is ceramic and it is adorable. It does have um, a hole inside to hang it. And they came in white and they came in black. This would be great to personalize. Um, you could probably even like put magnets on the back and be able to like put it on your fridge and put either like an air plant or a succulent or even just like your pens and stuff in it. Um, it's really nice. I got a couple of these. I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do. I'll probably make something maybe on like one of the long boards that you can get in the craft section and then put these on there with some succulents. I really enjoy um, all that kind of stuff like the, the hens and chicks and all that. So we shall see what happens with that. So then I have this, and I've seen this in a couple different, I think like shapes and pat, like different styles and stuff. I got these actually to make, um, to paint and make candy corns out of. I haven't finished them yet. I started painting them, but I haven't finished them. Um, but that's what I got this for. It's just a nice, solid piece of wood, really. I mean, of course, this is cute too, but it's very easy to sand it, paint it, and it make it into something else. You could even make it double-sided if you wanted, do all kinds of stuff with it. And then here's another little sign I just found recently. It says hope. To me, hope can mean a lot of different things for a lot of different people and for different reasons. For me personally, it means hold on pain ends. Having chronic pain is not something that's fun or something that um, is tolerable on a day-to-day -day basis. But if you have hope, you hope that there is an end to your pain, whether you have chronic pain or it's a heartache or whatever the case is, if you have hope and you hold on, your pain will end. So that's what I got this for for myself, um, just dealing with the pain and stuff. And I'm actually going to, um, I think what I'm going to do is do like rhinestones where the letters are, maybe like one color on the leaves here. And then this, I'm probably going to do like some sort of a purple um, for fibromyalgia awareness. So, and then probably hang this somewhere, whether it's in my house upstairs or in the craft room, as you see in here somewhere. I haven't quite figured that out. Maybe on one of those little shelves. So that's going to be for me. Um, sometimes I buy things and I really don't know what I'm going to do with them exactly. But then some things, as soon as I saw that, I grabbed it immediately and was like, okay, this is for me and this is what I'm going to do with it. And then this, I just thought this was so cute action maybe I'll start using it these the beginning of my videos <laughs> kidding um, but I thought this was great for especially for like kids or something um, you know say you have a kid that loves to put on little acts and shows and sings and dances and all that kind of stuff I thought this would be so fun or as a prop in like a a photo shoot or something like that you know you could I know it says like production role scene blah 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 but you could like make this out like your child's like first birthday stats or you know like a birth announcement something like that I mean there's just so many different things you can do and I'm sure 
sure these things could come off easily too and just use the ultimate shape of it and put your own type of words and stuff on it. I just thought this was so cute, especially for a dollar. I mean, you really can't beat that. I just thought it was so cute. Um, and then here's another thing. This is a birth announcement. I know, sorry, there's a glare down here. Don't have great lighting in my craft room, but I do the best I can. So it's just a piece of wood with a jute um, cord to hang it and just hello my name is I was born on all that kind of stuff and again you can easily paint over this or sand it down or something and do something else all together with this piece of wood or do something else on the back so many different things you can do really all right so here's another little excuse me a little decorative item I saw a couple different patterns of this I just I think this is cute it's just like kind of classic nice little trinket tray is that what it's called yeah a trinket tray um with the the buffalo plaid is that what it's called i don't remember but i just thought it was really cute and they did have i think they had a red and a black one they might have had another one i'm not exactly sure i don't i didn't really look too hard and then here's a couple vases that i found that i thought were really pretty they're just simple but they have like some design to them. You can see with the like the texture, like the rivets or the the lines in it. And then I thought this would be really, really pretty. Like tape this off and then do like a a pretty like glitter down the bottom to match your decor. And maybe do like the mat like a like two of them together. Maybe with like gray glitter and then white glitter. I'm not quite sure yet. I just thought they were pretty simple, but not too plain and these I just love these and I will probably do something with them in my kitchen when we finally redo it these are little dairy vases dairy milk bottle vase there you go and it says dairy milk by heritage company it says since 1810 and they have a nice texture to them I just thought they would be so pretty up on a shelf with some flowers in it maybe some like um, lavender or something um, if you can see up there, I have a bunch of flowers. Almost all of them are from Dollar Tree. They're not all of the flowers that I have, but they're like the ones that I would probably be using right now, like this time of the year. Um, so I do have other ones in the back in my like storage area that I use like, the, like my Christmas ones and summer and that kind of stuff. So back there is up here is basically like my fall and stuff like that. I might have some of my winter mixed in because I just, if I just purchase it or something. So here's a couple things. Of course, we all know Dollar Tree is great for frames, especially if you don't want, don't need to spend a lot of money on the frame or if you want to do a DIY or you're just doing a simple decoration or a simple gift for somebody, whether it's like a layered item or something like that. Or in a kid's room, of course. I mean, I know I've spent a lot of time and money on things in my kid's rooms and then they destroy it. You know, so something like this is a great way to spruce up their room without spending a lot of money and really having to worry about if it gets broken or whatever the case is. I thought this was really pretty. It has some uh, gold glitter. I was about to say silver. They might have had it in silver too. I'm not positive. Um, this is a five by seven and it has, does have like a little matting around it that I guess you can take out um, if you didn't want that in there. But I thought that was really pretty. You can do some DIYs with this too. Take the glass and everything out and you can use the frame for something. There's so many different things. Um, and then these here, I thought they were just really precious. Um, I've seen some things on YouTube and stuff like that. People doing sublimation on, um, on glass, like the cutting boards and stuff like that. And I do have those as well. Um, but these are frames that I'm going to try it on. Um, these are just metal frames and then they have a piece of glass in between. They don't have like a backing, so it would be see-through. Um, so I'm going to try it and I figure worst comes to worst, they were only a dollar and they had them in the gold frame and then a silver frame. So I'm going to hope to try that soon and I'll let you guys know how it works or maybe I'll post a video or something. And these, I really liked these and this is another thing that I will probably do or try to do with the sublimation on the glass. 
I really liked these. Um, again, a buck. I mean, I think the frame is plastic, but this is a four by six and this is a four by four. They're pretty much the same. The only difference is the shape and the, you know, the size. So, but they're both see-through. They don't have the backing one that likes most of the other frames. So it's just a piece of glass in there. So that's what I'm going to try for those. And hopefully I can do something. And then if that works, I have so many ideas that I could make with these, honestly. And we all know Dollar Tree is notorious for their candles, whether it's the electric ones or regular candles or the wax melts and that kind of stuff. So here's a couple things that I found or that I got. I mean, they have so many more, but this is stuff that I would use whether it's in my projects or a gift or something like that. So this is the LED um, wire lights. This one is silver and then it also comes in copper. So depending, you know, it, what project you have, you might want the different colors. And there's the battery packs in there. Um, I think it takes like two AA, is it? Yes, two AA batteries for indoor use only. But these are great little things to put inside of a jar. Um, here's one of the things. Let me see if I can get it out. I'm knocking everything else over. Sorry for all the noise, guys. So here's one of the things that I've made recently. I didn't finish her hat yet. But then I figured I can put these inside and light her up. And I just thought it would look so cute. Yes, I know. Halloween is this weekend. But there's always next year I can display them, right? Um, time just runs out, you know, and you just you can't get everything done. So here's a couple more of the um, battery um, candles. So you have two different sizes. There are seven, several different ones. I saw another one that has like pearls on it and stuff. These are adorable. You can um, decorate them and stuff. They are run by a battery. It says 120 hours, and there's it says flickering effect. So let's see, I did not pull that battery out yet. Oh, you can kind of see it. It's kind of hard to see down here, but it is flickering. So you put this inside of something when it's darker, you can really see the effect. It really gives off a nice little glow. It's not too bright, but it's just like a nice little like dim glow. I don't know. Um, so that's them and they always, I feel like they always have them. Sometimes they have some different colors. I think I saw a red one recently, but I did not need red. And then this is, I'm sorry. And these are all the luminescence brand. This is also luminescence. These are the LED tea lights. And this says 240 total hours. So these will last you a while. This is also something that I thought about putting inside of here too, either this or the strand lights. I haven't quite figured that out yet. And then one more thing, and then I'm going to have to take a quick pause. These are incense sticks. There's different scents that they have. This one is lemongrass. I'm very sensitive to smells and stuff, so I can't do a whole lot of smells, but I know lemongrass is pretty good for like keeping bugs away and stuff like that. So these are incense sticks, and then they actually recently started coming out with the incense holders. They have a couple different styles. Um, the other one was more plain. Um, it didn't look like a flower or anything but I thought this was really pretty. So you put your incense stink in, stick in there. So then when like the ash falls and stuff, it falls in here and it keeps everything safe. So here's one thing that I found and I'm gonna try to make something with, I haven't quite figured out what I'm gonna do, but it's these like sapphire-y, the blue gems. Um, they sometimes I'll have them in like red or clear. I've seen people use them like decorate vases and stuff. I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do with them yet. I just thought they were so pretty. Um, it's hard to, it's really hard to see. Let's see if I can open them. Oh, they don't want to open either. And don't mind the whole mess down and behind me that you may be seeing at times. I am in my craft room, so it is not necessarily the prettiest right now. So these are the gems. Like I said, they're really pretty color, nice shape and all that stuff. You can make some really cool things with that. So that's that. And then... So I've been seeing a lot of these lately at Dollar Tree, different shapes, sizes, um, 
colors. I've seen ones that have like snowflakes on them for, um, for the winter, these ones here. So I thought this was really pretty like simple. I liked the cutouts cause then when you put the tea light under it, inside of it, you'll see like a lot of the glowing in here. I thought that would be really pretty. So as you saw, tea lights. So these are like fancy tea lights. They're just plain, like they don't have like a scent to them or anything, but they're like glittery. Um, but I needed the plain ones because if you're putting something that's scented here, you don't really want something scented down here, I guess, unless they're like the same scent or like a scent that goes together. Um, so I was just looking for a plain one. They didn't have any. So I grabbed these. These are actually part of like the Christmas house brand. Um, I think I saw them in red too, something like that. But I just thought they were kind of pretty. So I grabbed those. And then some of the luminescence wax melts. So there's always different scents of these depending on the seasons and everything. Um, so always be on the lookout if you like to try different ones. So I'll just quickly go over the ones that I got. Black Cherry. This one is Beach Rose, which is not something I would typically um, go for because as I said in another video, I am very sensitive to smell. But this actually smelled really pretty. It didn't smell florally. Like me and florals don't mix very well. Um, that's why a lot of my flowers around, unless they're outside, are artificial because one, well, one, I can't keep them alive, but two, this smell really irritates me. I don't, I'll basically just have a constant headache. So, and then this one is coconut citrus, which isn't, none of these are like a really overpowering smell. Um, but eucalyptus, which we really like, I really like like eucalyptus mint and that kind of stuff. So, and you just pretty much break it off. Like it's in like little package, like almost like a little mini ice cube tray. And you just kind of break it off, like kind of crack it open. And you can see like they come out of like little, little blocks. And then you just plop that in your wax warmer and let it go. And, um, this one is Harvest Cider. And I think when I was cutting out, I was talking about how we bought this for my daughter for a present. Um, my youngest daughter got it, picked it out for my oldest. Um, and we figured we got some smells that kind of went together that she, we were thinking that maybe she could even like take a knife and like cut them in half and then like mix two of the scents together, if that makes sense. Kind of like, I think one of them we got was like caramel and then like apple. So maybe like the caramel apple smell, like an apple pie almost. Um, but then like this one here, this one is, it has two different scents in it, which I really liked that. It says melon pop and orange creamsicle. I'm assuming this is probably like leftover from like this summer or something. I didn't see it in a lot of the stores, but my store had it. But so I figured we can play around and like I said, like kind of mix them together, make some different kind of scents and see what happens. Um, but they're really neat. They're it's nice and contained. You just got to make sure that you put it up because you don't want anybody knocking it over because it is liquid wax up top when it melts. Um, you know, especially the kids and the animals and such. And of course you don't want them burning themselves. Um, so let me go on to the next little section here. So this is, um, kind of like the party, I guess like the party type section, but really it's just a couple items and they all go together. Um, so one of the things that have been coming out lately, is the icing bags and the tips and everything. So, ooh, I almost dropped it. So here's the bags. It's a set of 12. They're disposable icing bags, which if anybody does cake decorating or anything like that, you'll know that these can get pretty pricey, especially if you're using several of them for one cake because of the different colors or something. So 12 bags for a buck, like that's really good. So they're 12 inches in length, which is I think pretty standard. Um, so I figured I couldn't pass them up. I got a couple bags of those to kind of supplement what I already have. And then they also have some decorating tips. It comes with a shell, a petal tip, round, weave, star, and ruffle. So, I mean, they're probably not the absolute best. I mean, it's really hard to see them. I'm sorry. Let's flip it over here and you guys can see like the um, picture on the back. So there's definitely some different patterns and stuff there to make some different decorations. 
I mean, have fun with it. It's a buck. I mean, even if it's for a kid's birthday party, that would be so much fun, you know? And then maybe they can just take them home afterwards, like part of their goodie bag. Especially, you know, the younger, like the, the older, younger kids, if that makes sense. Maybe like 10, 12, something like that. And then here's some more things here. We got the, the cake spatulas, which are great for icing your cakes, depending on what you're doing. And then they have the two different tips. This one's, you know, more pointed and this one's just the regular tip. And then they also had these, which were the cake decorating tool set, which is great for um, fondant and that kind of stuff. I actually got them and I'm going to keep them in my craft room. I figured they'd be really good to, if I'm working with something that's like pliable, um, whether it's kind of like embossing something or like folding paper, like whether it's paper or clay or something like that or foam, I, I thought they would work good for that. I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. So the last little section is just a little craft stuff. I did do a craft haul the other day. Um, so this is just some more stuff that I have found recently. Some of the stuff is newer things that I've never seen before. Um, some of the stuff is I've seen before and I've just never got or purchased. Um, some things are that item that everybody's been looking for lately. Besides the hot glue gun, because that was last haul. So I'm going to go into the first little bit of things here. So I got these fastener dots. They're just like the Velcro dots. There's 20 pairs in here. I got them for a Christmas craft I'm going to be doing. Um, so I got a couple pairs of those or a couple packs of those. And then these are the chunky brushes, which are good for like the kids, of course, but they're also good for like dry brushing. So that's what I got it for because they do have the dry brush brush that I um, that I hauled last time but it's only a set of one but these are basically the same type of bristles the only thing that's different is like they're a little rougher at the top but I kind of like that when I'm dry brushing because it kind of gives it that like that dry brush that, that that effect that you're looking for so that's what I got those for and then here's like a little I don't remember if I showed this last haul or not but a paint palette for the kids it's great to be able to mix up the stuff and you can easily wash them or dispose of them if you wanted to and then here's some gemstone stickers they always have these in different colors and stuff so they do have like a film on the back where they have the sticky stuff on the back um, depending on what you're putting them on you might want to add a little bit of glue or something I'm not sure how strong they actually are but I thought they were pretty cool. Um, so I got these to decorate some stars uh, for some Chris Christmas crafts I'm going to be working on soon. And then these, I have a bunch of these that I'm going to be making into like different different pieces. But I just thought these were so cute. The earring, or like to make into earrings or like a necklace or something. They are just like a particle board or what is it called? Laser cut craft icons. I think it's like a, a craft board. So it's a little thicker than like, it's not like a poster board but it, it you know it's thicker but not super thick but you could also like coat them in something I'm sure you could co coat them in like an epoxy or something like that if you wanted to maybe make them harder whether it's the UV resin or not um, but I thought these were really cool I hadn't seen the keys yet I've seen like all different other ones there's owls and dragonflies and ladybugs and fish and crabs and all kinds of stuff and then of course I'm a sucker for fabric I I don't. I have so much fabric. I really need to start doing something with it, which I've been looking up some stuff lately. I have a lot of scraps from doing projects. I'm trying to look up some things that I can use the scraps for, um, some little DIY things. And then this one, I just thought it was so cute, like just the speckles, but they're not like the polka dots. I just thought that was pretty bright colors, kind of complement another fabric maybe. And then this, you know, come on, y'all, I love me some sloths. Between sloths, dragonflies, and like succulents, they're everywhere in everything I do. I mean, as you see, here's my dragonfly here. This dragonfly has been around my neck for almost 15 years, 14 years, something like that. It's a very special piece to me. Um, it was actually given to me by my husband um, for our wedding, the, the night before our wedding, um, in remembrance of my grandmother, who was very special to me. And she is basically where I found my love for dragonflies and, and succulents actually <laughs> so 
Um, here's another cute fabric. Sometimes like you don't really find some really, really cute fabrics, especially cute boy fabrics, but this is just adorable with all the rocket ships. There's all different colors and shapes. I think that was awesome. Like this would make such a cute, like, I mean, really anything like it's hundred percent cotton. I've thought about making some like tumblers with it. You can like mod podge onto tumblers and then like epoxy over top of it. But again, I'm not sure. I just, I, I purchased it because I thought it was adorable. And like I said, you don't find a lot of really cute boys, boy stuff, you know, boy fabrics and stuff like that. And then these, I don't remember if I showed these in my last haul video. My mind doesn't work sometimes. But these, I thought they were so cute. They're like another type of those crates, except for this one has the handle and it's a square instead of the rectangular ones. So I thought that was adorable. So I got a couple of them. You can make all different things. And then this here is just an adhesive cork sheet. Um, I have a couple projects in mind for that, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet. So this is what I've been looking for and something that a lot of people have posted. And it's actually really funny because literally the day before I was at Joanne Fabrics and bought a whole set for so much more money. And ta-da, the pom-pom makers. You have three different sizes. You have the large and I guess the small and the medium. I mean, I, I couldn't believe it. So the other ones are going back. I mean, when I tell you a lot more, I mean a lot more money. Like a lot. <laughs> so I was really excited to find these and they do have the directions on the back. This would be great to make some like of course pom-poms for de decorations and stuff like that but for like make some like gnomes out of these oh, I can't wait to use them so but that is all I have for today I really appreciate you guys watching I hope that you choose to come back and you subscribe and like my channel and please feel free to share um, I hope to see you all around here soon and I hope you have a great time trying to find all your finds at Dollar Tree and Hopefully you find some inspiration from me um, and I will see you again soon.